Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can convert demographic variables or age into different groups like this instead of continuous variable like this one. So here the age is stated freely and we need to categorize it into groups. To do this, we're going to go to transform and we're going to transform or record into different variables. So it's better to be uh, the record into different variables option. So here we have this option, we move the age and we go to all the new values. So I will change range lowest through value. So the lowest through 25 value is going to be uh, coded as a one. So this is like the value and we code it as one and click add. And then we're going to check a range. So here we go to range 26 to 33. So we have 26, 26 to 23, 33. So like this. So it's going to be coded as two. Click add. Then we have this value that is. 34 to 41 so we have 34 to 41 they're going to be coded as two click add and then 42 to 50 so 42 to 50 so we have 40 42 to 50 they're going to be coded as uh, three click add so this one should be changed as three and this one coded as four change the code in here and the ranges value through highest is going to be 50 and above or 51 51 they are going to be coded as five click add click continue and we choose labels as age new and here include age and click change and click ok and a new variable will be created like this I need to go back to it and recode it. So value one. So one is going to be this value. 18 to 25. Put it here. Two. It's going to be what? It's going to be 26 to 33. Add three. We're going to be 34 to 41. Four. So we want to be this value 42 to 50. And the last one above 50 is going to be coded as five. Corresponding to the coding that we have just done. Click OK. And here we go. Now I can just move analyze the demographics. So I go to analyze tables, custom tables, and I will move the duration. So I will move the newly created variable of age, and I will move the rest like duration among others. Okay, move them here. And then I go to summary statistics. I choose column percentage, move it here. Count, I will keep it F frequencies and percentages. I will keep it as such. Click apply to selection, close. Uh, then you can check, okay, rows or columns. So we can keep it as columns, click okay, and here we go. So this is it. I should include the percentage to the age as well. 
it was not selected at the beginning so we include it here the statistics okay lower Let's check this one. So here we have column, not row. So again, we need to move to row. Instead of the row, we are going to check column percent. Column percent, like this. And F, like this. Apply to selection. Apply to all. Close. Boom. Here we go. This is how we can get a table like this, like percentages and columns at once. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media. Till then, see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.